How's it going this evening? This is Patrick from SFMF Fishing and I received a day early the Mystery Tackle Box Elite. I'm pretty excited because uh, that time of the month you get the best baits and as a Halloween treat I am letting everybody know that all the contents that are on the card in this box is going straight to the veterans, my fellow veterans. So, without any further ado, let's open this puppy up. Now, just to let you know, I ordered from the store, I ordered some cross-style fish, some fuzzies, and some hooks, uh, some replacement for uh, for help me out here some treble hooks number fours for crankbaits and I ordered these are actually pretty cool I, I saw these I've never used them these this style before but I'm the type of person if I see something I haven't tried I'm gonna I may try it if I think it'll be productive for me well, these are the VMC drop dead with the spring tips, uh, 1 16th of an ounce weight on the end. I don't know if y'all could see that or not. I hope so. I really wanted to try these. Well, I ordered a 4.2 fuzz, riot fuzzy bear or beaver uh, money color. And they sent me this, a 2.4 Tantrum Slayer. Just to let you know, as soon as I saw that, I emailed them, told them what their packing people did wrong. And before I even got out of my neurology appointment today, I had already had an email that said that the... The original item that I purchased is on the way. So, thank you very much, Mystery Tackle Box. I'm not always mean. You guys really stepped up, took care of it right away, and thank you. And so, just to let you know, if you are watching the video, these 2.4 Tantrum Slayers, I am going to throw in the Veterans Tackle Box. So you know they got a good home. The veterans will use them. Now, we have the sticker, which will go on their tackle box, just like the Monster Bass sticker we got this month went on their tackle box. Like I said, everything is going to the veterans. You got your dibble. I, I, they can ask me how to fish the stuff if they want. If I, I don't think they're going to... Um, really care too much um i think just getting out is going to be great for them it's um but i'm not knocking the dibble because they do have really good information okay uh as an information pamphlet especially for people who don't know very much about fishing these dibbles are good then we have the what's inside and you have add to your box uh, type blah 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 and the contests of course and anybody who's gotten a mystery tackle box knows about the contest so let me see what the first there are one two three four five six seven eight and just by quickly looking at the list i can tell i'm gonna really wish I kept this box but it's a trick-or-treat Halloween gift for my fellow veterans so the first one is a river to sea whopper plopper anybody who knows me knows I love the whopper plopper so this I am jealous I wish I kept this but if I want one bad enough I will buy one I'm uh, giving this to the veterans they are going to love this, especially when they get their first topwater hit on this. 
The next item would be the Booyah prank. No offense, Booyah, but my veterans have one of the best uh, poppers around made by Monster Bass. Um, I like to call it the, the bass catching machine. But this doesn't look bad. Don't get me wrong. I personally won't use it, but I know the veterans will. You see the little crankbait bill on it and whatnot. Um, it'll look, might look appealing, especially thrown underneath a tree. Pop it a couple times. It'll look like a bug or something fell out of the tree. That's when you'll get your hit on something like this. The next is the Booyah Toad Runner. <coughs> Now, they, they do have frogs, but I do too. I have a whole box of frogs, but I don't have a frog like this. Um, this is a toad runner. It comes with an extra paddle in case you wear that out or the big bass eats it. Uh, you could always basically just take it off the uh, split ring and just use it as a regular frog too. Either way, the um, it looks... It looks real. I, I think um, under the right circumstances, with the right water, this will definitely catch fish. Uh, I think the veterans will really love this. It, even if they don't catch anything, just to watch the splash of the water come up as they're reeling in and just having fun. The next is the Z-Man Sling Blade. Um, Spinnerbait. They got a spinnerbait yesterday from Strike King in my other box. And today I would I have a lot of of spinner blade uh, spinner baits, but I do not have a Z-Man one. And this is three quarter ounce, pretty heavy. Um wish I I had one myself, but like I said, promised it to my veterans. Next is the Great Lakes ag Agitator. Now, this is what I don't understand, okay? Great Lakes is a sister company to the company that makes the, the um, color-changing baits. And um, believe it or not, this is in, I think, eight or nine boxes. The first um, lipless bait I have gotten in a, any company's box, believe it or not. Uh, this is nice. It's a, um, let me pull it out. It is a bluegill color. And honestly, I would actually throw this, but what I don't like is it's um, it's a sister company. Some you know the I, I don't know. I, I I believe in in be your own company. I that's just me. The veterans, I will teach them how to use a lip list. Big bite stick baits. Okay, what can I say? More worms. Um, black and blue. Green pumpkin, blue swirl. All right, yeah, I see it now. And um, yeah, they got more stick baits. And the Blitz Lures Blitz Blade. Okay, again, I have never gotten in any of my boxes a spoon bait and here we are we got we got a spoon blade I call it a spoon I mean it's really not it's just a gold um, it's kind of cheesy to tell you the truth to be very honest it is if I you can't see the split ring but it's wide open I'm gonna have to change that split ring up top before I give that to him um, and it looks like I'm going to have to change the bottom ones too. But the hooks, the hooks are sharp. Um, 
it, oh well. Uh, why lick, look a gift horse in, a, in the mouth? I'm sure they'll like it. And Sweet Spot Tackle. Never heard of them. They do have, it's made in the USA. And this is another finesse. I think anybody who watches my videos know I'm not a finesse fisherman. So I really don't care for these finesse. But I'm giving these away to the, it looks more like a leech. Um, you want to use this on a finesse hook. And I don't know, maybe even drag it along the bottom. But um, yeah, it looks like a partial bag. Uh, so it's a sample bag. That's too bad. It's um, again, it's not a name brand, but you know, it, they're trying. And that would be it. Now, to give it a rating, as you know, I, I give a star to every every box I get. Um, we're starting it off at a 10. And we'd keep it a 10 plus one because of the great customer service I got today. But I have to knock one star off for the sample pack of a no-name brand. If it wasn't for that, you guys really stepped it up this month. This is probably one of the best boxes I have ever gotten from Mystery Tackle Box. So compliments don't come easy from me. Um... You guys stepped up your game. Thank you very much. And for everybody else out there, if you know any veterans, you haven't heard from them for a while, reach out, give them a buddy check, make sure they're okay. Until the next time, subscribe. At 101 subscribers, I have a special giveaway. Um, it may not even be from the companies that that I I do the boxes for it may be just my most favorite baits I use to catch my monster basses and um, and so subscribe follow my channel and peace out